It began long ago, on the battlefields of the Great War. Two German scientists sought to harness dark and mysterious forces buried for centuries. They believed their discoveries would assure Germany's ultimate victory. What they could never have imagined was just what else their research would unearth. the front lines, the hopes of the Allies rested on three soldiers sent to stop it. My name is Samantha. I'm going to tell you how all this really began. Heroes were rewarded with riches beyond imagination. From that day forward, they knew Samantha would keep them safe forever. You're getting everything wrong. I told you before that her eyes should be blue. It's my turn, Eddie. I can do whatever I want. But you don't even know how to play properly. Girls don't know enough about zombies. What's the choice of a shooting? Make sure the windows are locked before you come down the basement. We'd better do what your dad says. I didn't even get my turn. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. I promise. Come on, Fluffy. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. So sorry, I really don't have time to explain. I have a universe to set right. Thank you, and goodbye.
This wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. Eat my blade, beast! Ah, fucking move, maggot addicts! Today, you die! Oh. First, I took your legs! Now, I take your life! I should never have trusted you, Richtofen. Never. He's still alive. I fucking hope so. This subject will one day wreak havoc across the entire universe. He cannot be allowed to leave. Ugh. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. We were supposed to secure the package and be in and out clean. Instead, the whole thing's been one disaster after another. I should never have trusted you, Richtofen. Never! You should trust me, Dempsey. You all should. This artifact has the power to contain and preserve the subject's soul. Your soul. But it can only be done after the moment of death. Just as you saw me do to my other self. It is the only way. Wait! If someone's gotta take him out to save the universe, then it should be me that does it. Good to see you, Tank. Take it easy, Tack. I'm sorry. I don't speak Japanese. The object in your hand? It's gonna bring you nothing but pain. Believe me, I know. I am an envoy of the Emperor himself. I am no traitor! I recognize them. 
almost as though they were my own. Taki Omusaki. I did not believe I would find you in such a place. I was a warrior. I fought many great battles for the glory of our nation. For the honor of the dying samurai spirit. I was a hero. I share this memory. I have lived many of the same victories. I later learned that my victories were unwelcome. His betrayal was driven by petty jealousy. He knew I could endure anything. That I fear not even my own death. Punishment is one thing. This is cruelty. Who could be so evil as to desire another soul to endure such suffering? Who amongst us could be so dishonorable? Are you so blinded by your own loyalty? The orders came from the Emperor himself. My life, my path, is built upon a lie. I think this realm may have been corrupted and consumed by evil. But we possess the power to change things. A better tomorrow is only possible if we blow away the ashes of the past. None of us choose the means by which mercy will find us. But I am at peace. I understand what must be done. Will you be my Kaishakunin? It is my honor.
me now? I am sorry, Nikolai. I wish... I wish there was another way. But know this. In my heart, I share the same pain as you. The pain that you have buried and blurred beneath an alcohol-fueled haze. Yes. The pain of your own memory. You loved and you lost. Everything else has been delusional fantasy that distance you from painful truth. You know what I speak of. You remember. Before the bombs fell. Before she was... taken from us. Some things are forgotten. For a reason! <laughs> It is done. The souls have been collected, Maxis. We will see you soon. Recap a bit, shall we? This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You, little... Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning key here, and you destroyed that bloody machine once and for all. Thing is, Maxis went and balls everything up. Please, you must help me. He heard voices, you see, calling to him. Only together. Can we prevent the destruction of your world? It wasn't really his fault. You know, he hasn't actually got his soul yet. All I got was a brain. Anyway, the key thing, as in the thing that is key, is that Max is fiddled around with the summoning thingamajig and accidentally released an even bigger bastard. Someone even I didn't know was in there. The Shadow Man. The one and only original Harbinger of Doom. So, I'm going to be absolutely truthful with you. Things have got way too far out of control. This isn't any vague woo evil. We're talking about the Apothecons. The most powerful and evil entities in all the existence... ...existed. 
And now they're here, in our perfect world. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's a fucking shit show. Sophia. Marxist. You know what you must do, my dear. We will do it together. As one we are. Now and forever. With the evil vanquished, I can start making it all nice again. No undead, no apothecums, no shadow man. All of it gone. Forever. But it, here's the funny thing. You snowflakes shouldn't even still be here. You should be fading out of existence by now. Those blood vials. I was wondering when you'd bring this up. They're from realities we've already closed off. They shouldn't be here. They can't be here. Such a paradox means you're putting my perfect world at risk. You guys and your bloody free will. What to do? What to do? Well, you certainly can't stay here. You could send us somewhere else. Somewhere we've never been. Hmm. I suppose I could make a little corner somewhere in history. A place where I can dump some of the other shit that I've left over, or I just wipe you from existence. Ooh, hang on. Actually, that all works out perfectly. Give us the fire. We'll give them hell. Do not speak so lightly of hell. Easy, Tech. I didn't mean the real thing. Gentlemen, we are here. Doctor. Doctor? Is there a problem? Two for each of them. Survival depends on it. Ah, yeah, yeah. You remember. Ah, so much to do. A vessel for Maxis. The opening of the gateways. Are you sure you're not getting confused? Ah, you'll be needing this. The Cronori. But I've already read it. Read it. Again. What is the meaning of this? The pages have changed. They our blood, my blood. You cannot possibly expect me to let this happen. You son of a bitch! Let me guess. You're not gonna let us in on what that was about. Or explain why you have people in freezer. We are leaving. So, that could near to them. Asshole. There! Get to the portal! Now! I 
done. Sing. They are free of this realm. Ain't that swell? Does that mean we win? I would be greatly relieved if that were so. I am in no hurry to ensnare my mortal soul. That will not be necessary, Nikolai. The future has changed. Learn of your true calling. You must keep your soul. It will be needed to defeat Dr. Monty. Who? Hello? Hello? I'm still here. To let me be to death. It was so sad. The cycle is broken, Herr Doctor. As such, insurance policies are no longer needed. I wish I could tell you I was sorry, Edward. But I'm not. No. No, you can help me. You're a doctor. Wait. Don't you know who I am? I have been witness to miracles on calamity. Dimensions born on collapse. I walk a path no other can take. No! I want to be me. Someone who did all the hard work! more time travel bullshit, Tech. It just hasn't happened yet. Speaking of BS... How the hell did you get back in your body, Doc? <laughs> Does it matter, Dempsey? I'll tell you what matter. Americans still give Nikolai his vodka. Is that your plan, Nikolai? To give up and drink yourself to oblivion? Or do you want to make a difference for once in your life? 
You. Oh, Scheiße. You four must come with us. In time, it will make sense. But now. Intruders on the bank. Hacker four. Now we must go, quickly. There is a war to be fought. War? What kind of war? A war unlike any you have ever seen. The Great War. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep, or taste not the Pierian Spring. So goes the poem. I understand its meaning. I have drunk so deeply that my every fiber aches with the pain of what has been. And the pain of what has yet to come. I fear it may drive me insane. our madness has wrought. It is only now, now, that I understand the path of bloodshed and sacrifice that lays ahead. And how such knowledge must have gnawed and clawed at the German's mind. I pity him. From this day on, it is my burden to bear. I know what must be done, and who must do it. May they all have mercy on my soul. Happy, Nikolai? Everything playing out as the Cronorium predicted. We have what we came for. The Elemental Shard. Hooray for us! Damn. It's too late! Maxis? What's happening, Nikolai? You are too late. Fucking me. Hello, Samantha. Who is the boy? Uh, that would be us. Great war. Then we're going back 
to the house to kill him and burn it all to the ground. A guard, the ether, the infinite, everything. Someone's been busy. Your joyment pal asked if we wanted to live. This don't feel like living. Calm down, everybody. Everything's fine. Or, or going to be fine. Okay? Than you. We stand on the brink of victory. Element 115, Group 935, the Help Exchange, the MPD, the Apothecaries. All of it will soon be gone. But tonight, tonight we celebrate. Some maggot feeders headed downstairs, and we ain't got no weapons. Yes, I'm telling them now, but they're all a teasy bit grumpy because they just woke up. Hey, Stu, you want to be a bit more specific about what the voice in your head is actually saying? Dr. Minty? What? Is he like a bad guy? power and the means to control it we can go wherever we choose at last we can return to our homes our old lives our families i've got to be honest with you samuel i don't have even the slightest inkling as to what an agarthan device is he didn't say you had to know what it was martin just how to build it Trust me, guys! It won't be that complicated! In fact, my German pal says it's gonna be a schlomp dunk! It's one thing trusting you, Stu. It's a whole other thing trusting your imaginary brain buddy. Uh, Rossman, how can you even say that? He's the sweetest guy in the whole universe! He wants us to help save it! The universe! Thank you, Sammy. I'm moved. This is nearly over, child, but one thing remains. The one who perpetuates this madness. He must be... I wish I did not have to ask this of you, but... Only you can do it.
Comrades, as we toast our victory, I want each of you to think about what you really want. Where would you like to go now? Believe me. You can have it. Multiverse must come to an end. The paradox must be resolved. At least, it will be quick. the chapters of our lives, good and bad. Even if there was no witness, even if no one kept to see, it still happened somewhere. We fought the great war over and over, but victory could never be ours. We were always doomed to fail. Monty told us the truth. Our journey is the very reason this madness exists. We are the ones who fractured the universe. This is the truth the Cronorium showed me. The truth Richtofen could no longer face. When we are gone, so too is everything that spewed forth from the ether. Element 115, the Apothecals, even Monty himself. All of it will be banished to where it belongs. The Dark Aether. We should not be here. Our time has passed. But for all the pain and torment we have endured together, as we leave this life behind, it is my hope that you know one thing beyond any doubt. You are more than just my allies, my brothers in arms. You were my friends.
return to my home, my beloved, before the bombs fell. If only to die by her side. I see myself at peace, serene, sitting beneath a cherry blossom tree, listening to the joy of my children. Medicine. Maybe pathology. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think I'd be a darn good DI. <laughs> Get those kids toughened up. I would like to be in favorite bar. But as long as I am loved here, I am a happy man. I would like to know for sure that I brought honor to my ancestors. The I should probably try to relax. Take up a hobby. Think about it. Wherever I go, you know I'll be kicking ass. <laughs>